this conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so team, as I said, you know, as a, just check out uh, trying the screen, okay, just uh, one second, Venkat, I'm just uh, checking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So team, as I said, right, okay, I will not be the trainer. So Bobby is the trainer for this particular on natural abbas because I am not expert in natural abbas. Okay, so. Venkat, can you yeah. able to see the screen? Yes, yes, I can able to see. Yeah, great. Uh, uh, hi, hi, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Babu. One minute, Babu. Others, can you hear Babu? I can hear properly. Yes, yes. I am able to hear. Okay. okay. Yeah, over to yes, you, Babu. Yes. You, are, you are good to go. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the confirmation. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, this is Babu. Okay. So, I have 15 years of experience in mainframe technologies, which includes uh, Cobalt DB2, some uh, CSS, along with the Natural Adabas. Especially with the Natural Adabas, I have eight plus years of experience in Natural Adabas. I worked in the different domains in the Natural Adabas also, like uh, manufacturing domain, banking domain, and the uh, insurance domain. I worked in the different domains on the Natural Adabas. And also, as part of this training, we cover along with the Natural Adabas with uh, some of the advanced uh, uh, topics also. And also, uh, many people might uh, think that how we can able to do the practical sessions. Okay, so don't worry about that. We have that Windows version of uh, mainframe will be there. So for the natural numbers, I will show you the each and every practical practical session in the Windows version, and I will give the software to all the people that will be ready. Software will be provided in the some of the. Uh, you know, Google Drive or something, and you can download and you can install it. I can help you each and everyone how to install and how to do the practical sessions on the natural Adabas. So you don't worry about the practical session. Before I'm just uh, starting, I'm just uh, giving the hands up on that one. Okay. So this is completely practical oriented session. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, we can take it later. You know, after you know, more ten minutes of the demo session or anything. So now, now uh, many people think that natural bus, why the people are very less in the natural bus and how the market uh, trends on the natural bus. So normally natural bus is a software as a product, okay, which is uh, from the Germany, okay. So that's why most of the European clients and North American clients uh, having the natural bus using the natural bus. Uh, maybe I will give some of the examples like uh, uh, Nissan North America, Nissan Europe, and uh, Nissan, France, Spain, and everything, uh, entire Nissan is using the natural bus. Most of the system is built uh, on the natural bus. Like that, uh, there is a bank card, a CBA, Commonwealth of Bank, uh, like Trig, and uh, you know, there are different kinds are there, Nordia. All these banks and all the insurance domains which is developed on the natural bus, most of the 80% is developed on the natural bus. So like that, if you see that in the market, we have very less people on the natural bus. Okay, because mostly people will be working on the mainframe, but uh, within the mainframe, this natural bus is an additional technology, just like how we have that like CACS or something like that, it is like that. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not going to the PPT actually. Okay, I've just put the content here, that's it, okay. So, and also what is the advantage of the natural programming and Adabas, okay. So natural programming, normally uh, I'm not sure that uh, how many people are from the mainframe background or non-mainframe background. Suppose uh, if you are mainframe background, okay. So in the mainframe background means we have that batch programming and online programming. There are two parts are the mainframe, okay. The batch programming is nothing but you submit the jobs, okay, you will get the output. Okay, either it may be a daytime or night time. That is how the batch programming will happen. If it is an online programming, online programming is nothing but where you can able to see the, your front end screen, you enter the data and you get the data or you modify the data or you update or delete the data, okay, on the screen which is shown in, in front of you on the main web screen. So that is how the front end screen will be there. So this is the online programming and batch programming. Okay, normally in the mainframe, if you see that batch programming, mostly we will do it in the Cobalt DB2 VCM. But if it comes to online programming, you need to depend upon the CACS. 
that is how it will be but whereas the advantage of the natural foregamming is nothing but natural foregamming can be used as a batch foregamming and online foregamming also where you can develop the batch foregams or online foregams so in the online foregams whatever the screen which you see that is called map actually map map okay so the map we can develop the map we can able to develop the online screen using the natural foregamming and also adobus is just like a db2 okay or or a sql server it's like one of the database that is also software as a product so now the natural and adobus is comes together mostly that comes together we have we can use the natural programming with the db2 or natural programming with the sql also but most of the companies not even use the sql or db2 with the natural programming so it will be used only along with the natural and adobus it will come together mostly okay so that is the advantage of the natural programming and adabas when it comes to the adabas what is the advantage of the adabas is nothing but so uh, most of the people might know that uh, sql or, or like rdbms in the market whatever the rdbms is there including the db2 okay so all these uh, things are there when when you are trying to create the multi value feed there is something that concept of multi value feed or periodic feed in the adabas so what is that mean means suppose okay a candidate example babu okay babu have the present address okay and permanent address or some work address and babu have the multiple mobile numbers are there okay mobile number 1 mobile number 2 mobile number 3 in this in this case if you are going to create a columns in a sql or or okay how do you do that we have to do like uh, adab, uh, address one address two address three is a different columns we have to do like a mobile number one mobile number two mobile number three like that we need to give but whereas in adabas what we can able to do means we can create a column called address okay and that address will come as a 191 occurrences in the occurrences where you can able to store your address okay by giving the occurrence you can able to get what is the address also okay so that is the main advantage of data bus i worked in the migration of data bus also from the data bus to db2 data bus to sql i worked on the migration also i can tell you that how we can able to compare the data bus table with the db2 or sql table or you know or a table or whatever it is comfortable i can give some brief on that how we can able to migrate the adabas to some rdbms okay so now most of the people who is talking about the mainframe modernization okay when it comes to mainframe modernization what will happen means this database tables we can convert into the open source table so open source the table is not but sql or or a key so these are the open source tables that we can able to handle as part of the adabas and what is the natural one and what is the github okay so natural one is nothing but it's a latest <coughs> latest tool which is introduced by the software ag okay so what happened means we are doing the coding on a mainframe editor okay so natural database as i said that is a part of mainframe whatever the coding you do okay which will happen on the mainframe editor okay now what happened means since most of the companies want to get rid of the mainframe and they want to go go for the open system open source and mainframe modernization so in that time okay so software ag has introduced the concept called nature one okay guys i will show you that okay how the nature one will work how to use the nature one how to do the coding in the nature one and it will be completely practical oriented nature one on so so most of the companies what happened is they go with the natural one and they will connect that with the mainframe system so no need to use the mainframe editor instead of using the mainframe editor we can use the natural one that one we can able to do that one okay natural one is nothing but just like eclipse okay, that is looks like a eclipse system only okay so how if you see that eclipse okay so natural one is built on top of the eclipse system to connect to the mainframe system so that is how the natural one has been happened and which is introduced into the market and most of the uh, business uh, people sorry business people means the client started to use the natural one when they are 
want to move to the mainframe modernization okay so what is the mainframe modernization when it comes to the natural one means so if you have uh, come up with the uh, what is that the mainframe background you might know that endeavor which is used for the um the source uh, moving okay deployment purpose we use the endeavor and there is another tool called n2o okay n2o and endeavor the purpose of both things is same only okay what happened means endeavor and n2o we use to, to the deployment of the your code okay from the development to acceptance acceptance to staging staging to production vice versa okay it is happening using the endeavor and n2o okay so endeavor is the ibm product and n2o is again a software as a product okay so whenever if you are using the natural natural robots programming in your mainframe you should have endeavor or n2o for your deployment activities again you need to pay so much of money to the corresponding companies to maintain this endeavor or n2o because of that reason what happened means as part of the main uh, modernization people started to use the github okay so github is the open source as you people know that github is a open open source and which can be used for the deployment okay so now what happened is they will connect the natural one with the github and they started to do the deployment using the github okay so no no need to use the endeavor or n2o but still most of still the companies are using the endeavor and n2o also that is a different case but it is a small tools only so n2o can be used for the deployment and if you see that uh, uh, there are some clients like where i see that uh, hca is using the github and tcs uh, some of the clients are using the github with the along with the natural one okay so this is a github with the natural one is a very much advanced topic where in the market is it is very new also so this is a brief about the natural programming adabas and natural one and github uh, sorry guys if i am fast <laughs> so any questions i am okay to take up at the end also not an issue any issues with my audio it's fine now babu yeah okay <clears throat> so this is about the table content of for this training part okay and i'm just not going to the in, uh, uh, internal details of the natural programming okay as part of the natural programming what is required from the basic from the scratch what is required from the advanced level each and every topic will be covered under the natural programming okay how to define the data how to read the data how to uh, define the table how to get that uh, data, uh, data from the table how to develop the maps okay each and every topic will be covered as part of the natural programming as i said that we start from the scratch and we end with the advanced topic which is the evolve in the natural programming okay so i'm not going into the content of this one okay the content is nothing but from the scratch to advanced level of natural programming will be covered as part of these topics okay and another thing is that map editor okay as i said that okay online programming so when it comes to the online programming in the natural programming okay we define the map we use the map for that online programming just take cics in cics how we define the maps like that we define the maps here sorry guys if you don't know the cics i will give the example just like online program uh, online uh, banking like uh, uh, icic banking uh, you know uh, if you see that the hdfc banking they developed on the map, uh, java system or dot net system okay so if you see that whatever the uh, you know, gui graphical interface if you see that graphical interface which is developed for to view the your front end screen that can be developed using the map editor in the natural database okay so you can uh, develop a map you can connect with the map with your database table and where you can able to do the updates or where you can able to delete the data or enter the insert the data into a database table using the map so this map editor mainly we cover how to create a map how to use the map what are the different uh, attributes of the map while creating now we need to give the color attribute or size attribute or you know 
some uh, rebu attribute these are the just like a different attributes will be there like uh, all the advanced attributes we can able to we cover it as part of the map editor that's why i keep it as a separate topic of map editor which we don't miss this one so which is mainly used for the online programming next adabas at the same time adabas also we we'll start from the architecture of the adabas like from the basic and we go with the adabas advanced concepts whatever the adv advanced concepts are there we can go that one okay so we we see that what is the internal structure of the adabas how the adabas can be read how the adabas can be uh, you know updated or uh, deleted how it will be defined along with the natural programming how we can able to access the data all these concepts will be covered as part of the adabas so we will start from the scratch and we with the advanced concept next natural one so as i told that natural one is a software edge product again and which is based on the windows version and i will cover that how to install the natural one into your windows system and how to install the adabas along with the natural one and how to use the natural one and also in the natural one how you can able to do the coding to create the different components will be there like we need to create the program or we need to create the sub program or we need to you know create a, some map will be there all these things will be there different components we need to create under the natural one i will show you that how to create how to do the coding how to debug how to do the impact analysis each and everything using the natural one i, I will show you that all the advanced topics will be there okay so how to debug each and everything so instead of main frame editor we are going to use the natural one editor and to do this one github okay as i said that this is very much advanced topic github in, into the market okay what we do the github means how to do the uh, deployment from the production side from the development to acceptance or uh, acceptance to production how to do the deployment how to pull the code how to push the code like that we have a different concepts will be there different I, I will tell you that what is the push code and uh, what is the pull code also okay how we have you know we can create the repositories how to create the repository and all these things but when it comes to real time so we don't create any repository but i will i will show you that how to create the repository how to use the repository what are the different con conflict will be there how the contention will be resolved everything will be covered and as part of the github okay the topics which my, i mentioned in the github is very less actually but when it comes to that real time it is going to be more than 20 hours of session will be there on the github okay because the most more there are many topics will be there under the each and every topic okay which will be covered if you go and sit in front of the system the real time on the first day itself you can understand that okay github how we, i can able to use that like that i will give the training on the very much advanced level on the github and another thing is that what is the repository what is the push code or what is the pull code will be there so what is the meaning of push code or pull code means now you are working on a natural one environment and a natural one environment will be use the github for the deployment purpose so we need to connect the natural one along with the github so we need to push the code our development code to the github using as a version control and we need to pull the code take the latest code from the github to natural one so that is nothing but push code or pull code so whenever you are do, as a developer whenever you are doing as a development you need to take the latest version of your code and you do the development activity or whenever you are creating creating a new component is a different case but if you are, as a developer you are going to do as a existing program code then what we need to do means we need to take each and every time the latest version which is available in our system so that's why what we do means we pull the code from the github to natural one to take the latest component and on top of the latest component we are going to do the our changes our enhancements so that's why we say that pull code and push code so i will show you that what are the different scenarios will be there in the push code or pull code also then the last one will be the resolve the contentions and conflicts will be there okay so this contention is conflict is nothing but 
in the mainframe environment as you know that uh, you know uh, a single person can able to use a, a single program for the development activity uh, because we use the normally a single server will be there suppose some babu one is using one program babu can two can't be used in that case so in that case that is a conflict actually so how we can able to resolve such type of conflict and contingent suppose babu one is working babu two is working without knowing each other and they are trying to push the code what will happen in that case so i will show you that how what is the conflict what is the content as the contention how to resolve the conflict how to resolve the contention as part of the github so this is these are the resolving the conflict and con, uh, contention is very much a advanced topic okay very much important topics as part of the github okay so these topics will be covered as part of the github also okay this is a complete training oriented and as i told that this is a hundred percentage i can able to show you that how we can able to do the practical session and I, can, I will create each and every user ID and we see that how we can able to share each other and some, how to review, okay, in the uh, natural Adobe code review, okay, how we can able to approve the code to move to the lower environment to upper environment, like a development to acceptance environment, like that. So each and every topic will be under the GitHub, okay. So that is the GitHub actually. So these are the... <coughs> Uh, topics which we are going to cover as part of the natural database okay so now guys it's a time for the questions you can go for the questions I let me minimize this yeah what's the yeah. duration of this <clears throat> see if it is a github it it will be around 100 uh, 100 hours without github it will be around 80 hours See, one hour, one hour, two hours, that is not a problem, but it will be 80 hours of the training where I can cover that natural programming, Adabas, and the natural one is yeah, all the topics will be covered uh, in the 80 hours. If you want to go for the GitHub, it will be another 20 hours. Sai, can you be a little bit louder? Right. Class will be taken by the one hour daily, right? What is that? One hour only, right? Per day. The class session will be taken every day for one hour. Uh, everything will be online class only. Uh, you are Venkata Gunda, your voice is breaking. Can you type the message otherwise? Yes, yes. I couldn't. Uh, uh, what is the request to learn the Adapas actually? There is one question, Gopi. Uh, I let me one second, guys. Let me answer to the Gopi. Gopi, if you know the basics of the SQL, uh, basic of the SQL statement, that is well and good. If you don't know, also I will cover from the scratch how the how to use Adabas. So that is not a problem, Gopi. If you know the basics of the SQL, that is well and good. Yes, Venkat. I'm typing messages. Okay. No, it, uh, we are planning to use the uh, two hour session or one and a half hour session every day. Okay. It all depends upon your uh, interest. Suppose if it is a two hour session, we can, we can complete, uh, you know, within 40 days. Uh, suppose in case if I took any view on the particular day, then I can cover the session on the Saturday. Okay. So we are planning to have the one and a half hour session or two hour session every day. So, um, so that is the question right Venkat. So it's not one hour, one and a half hour to two hour session. So like Thanks. Do we need to know COBA DB2 CSS before learning? No, it is not required. COBA DB2 is not at all required to know about uh, before going to the uh, natural database. I just give the comparison which is the mainframe, how it will happen. Okay. So that is just uh, for the comparison purpose. I use the terminology called COBA DB2, but we never use the CSS COBA or DB2 along with the natural database both are different ways so it is not at all required yes i will be sharing the materials okay uh, i let me show you that i have one google drive is there okay i'm
okay sorry uh, okay but uh, i will be sharing with you the so what is the software which is required and everything okay uh, maybe i didn't open the uh, google drive but i will be sharing the materials and the software which is required for the natural one adobas and uh, how we can able to connect uh, and also how we can able to de debug if any issue with the connection and everything will be covered so materials will be shared any idea placement and how good in current market openings as of now i can able to see that there are a lot of companies are looking for the natural bus guys so including tcs lnt infotech and uh, hcl hcl and cognizant these are the four major companies which are recruiting the uh, natural bus guys in the market and there is uh, another company called jensa technologies also yeah training will be on the weekdays only not on the weekends as i mentioned that if if i took any leave in between the weekdays it it can be covered on the weekend on the saturday that is only by accepting all the people the session will be available on the saturday okay it's not that uh, we are going to take it on weekends yeah what about the fee okay the fee is going to be 15k for the natural data bus along with the natural one and if you are looking uh, required the github it is going to be 20k i mean 15000 is uh, uh, nothing but natural adabas natural one and combining the for github it is going to be 20 20000 guys so did i miss any any question or any any one question here uh, i'm just going to the comments and i'm answering you people uh, hi babu hi yeah um so do we need github to work in uh, natural and adabas it's no it's not required github is only for the deployment activity so for the development activity you are not going to use the github okay so um so uh, whatever the um, clients using natural and adabas they use github for the de deployment no they are not going to use the uh, github environment okay they are going to use the natural one and environment for the development activity okay. github okay. only it comes to when it comes to the deployment only deployment. so it is not mandatory that each and every company will have the github as i said that it is very much advanced topic there were only two or three clients which is started to use the uh, github along with the natural one oh okay okay yeah see what are the tools which we are going to use uh, i didn't understand your question completely uh, the tools for our training are the tools which is related to natural database what is that meaning nahesh uh, can you elaborate your question yeah okay you can think in that way uh, babu sorry yes, yes. uh, are you, are, you, are you going to cover any tools in training in as part of the natural tools, adabas training or... natural one is itself is two actually okay so that we are going to cover that for the deployment uh, sorry development activity okay that is the tool apart from that tool there won't be any new tools will be there in the natural adabas yes. these the sessions will be recorded for the future reference Ah, uh, when no. can you answer this one? No, no, you don't get the recorded videos. You have to attend live sessions on daily basis. If you if you miss the session, uh, let's say if you are absent for two three days, then we can give you those sessions recorded videos. But if you are attending and after uh, after attending, if you are expecting video, we don't give it. But but there are few topics which are very critical and important and there are few things uh, which you can do only by watching the video again and again like you know uh, configurations first time seeing the writing the program and fixing the errors checking the errors those are all you know if you see the video once and twice you can able to do hands on properly so there uh, here and there we will give the videos and if you miss the session we will give the videos but not for all the days that is i meant uh venkat nirendra here 
Yeah. 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 Like when you are when you are doing it this natural order based, right? If suppose some of the projects they will connect front end is the uh, back end is the order based, but even they will connect with the DB2 also. Is those things are you going to cover on this training? Uh, connecting uh, with the DB2, we are not covering as part of this training. Uh, we are covering only along with the natural order based because. Uh, when it comes to db2 we don't have any windows version is available not available for the any practical sessions or anything so if you want what i can able to show means i can able to show one example program how we can able to do the natural programming with the db2 but we don't have any tools or any uh, anything which is available for the compilation or execution of the natural with the db2 we don't have such specificity and also 99% okay. of the all the companies which use the nature with the adabas only so they don't use nature with the db2 because if they started to use the nature with the db2 then again they need to pay additional money with the dba so as you know that each and every company is going for the cost cutting okay so they don't try like okay. that but i can show you some example for them how the nature with the db2 will be there but we cannot compile okay. or execute that for them uh, okay. Basket, so, one second, guys. There is a question from the basket. I heard that many, many natures are going away due to uh, SAG exit reason ending in some companies due to the cost effective. So they are migrating to other technologies. As no, as of now, then uh, see, software AG is uh, keep on uh, increasing the license. There is not going. They are not going away from the mainframe or. Any license that is not uh, correct actually. If you see that all the companies still using the software AG and natural by Adabas is uh, under the uh, under the software AG, so that is not correct. And at the same time, Basker, this is not going to happen within next five years. Maybe after five years, it is a different case. Okay, when it comes to the migration, okay. What is the meaning of migration? Means there are two type of migrations will be there. One is the database migration will be there. Uh, another thing is that using the mainframe editor or not using the mainframe editor. As I said that uh, we are going to do the coding on the mainframe editor in, in the initial days, okay, and for the natural data also. To get rid of the mainframe editor, uh, yeah, software AG has introduced the natural one. As you know that IBM will charge uh, so much of money for the mainframe editor, okay, um, because as you know that IBM is the main source for the mainframe. Okay, even though natural database is the product of software AG, we have to work on the mainframe for the software AG. So to get rid of that mainframe editor, software AG has introduced the natural one. So we are going to do the development in the software uh, AG natural one. So the license and everything is not going to end, and they are keep on adding the new concepts and the new uh, things into the natural one. And they are bringing into the market software AG. So that is uh, not correct actually. Next to five years, it is not going to happen. The next migration is nothing but database migration. So as I said that we have the Adabas will be there. Suppose if you want to migrate the Adabas into the um, relational database, say so the SQL or Oracle, we can the migration of the tables can happen. Okay. So that is another migration which is which will happen. Thank you. Thank you for answering. Oh, okay, Venkat. Uh, guys, uh, do you have any other questions? Uh, you know, I'm. we can check is there any... on the placement part yeah. but i am not sure on that one venkat just left maybe you can check with the uh, venkat yeah. timings oh, uh, yeah i have one more question okay with respect to this one in the natural yes, database, we are planning we to replicate... you know start the session oh. tomorrow okay uh, it all depends upon the candidates uh, interest uh, timings it will be uh, 10 or 7 uh, uh, 8 30 to 10 30 uh, 7 3 8 to 10 or 8 30 to 10 30 or if it is a one on
at that see uh, regarding the timings okay that we will confirm you that we will confirm you once we get the uh, final confirmations most probably 8 to 10 between okay 8 to 10 venkat, or 8 i don't hear you properly is it venkat or someone yeah myself can you hear me now yeah can you hear me is there yes uh, niranjan we have the batch processing concept in the natural rubbers so we are going to cover the both the batch processing and online uh, online processing concept as part of this training Shanti, I think I covered the uh, your question on the timings and the classes. So Venkata, I covered. Yeah. Yes. Guys, any other questions? See, uh, one thing I just want to uh, ensure you people. Okay. So you don't worry about the batch processing or online processing, how it will work in the, uh, you know, on the other bus. It will be completely covered on that part. And I will show you both, um, uh, you know, both batch processing and uh, online processing. Uh, we do the practical sessions also. Okay. This uh, depends upon the people interest where we can able to extend uh, another five to uh, 10 hours also. When it comes to assignments, I will give small, small concept of the programming, okay, where you can able to go and practice yourself. And I will, I will show you that how to install the environment on your, your Windows machine. The software uh, will be provided. And I will show you that if any issues in the connectivity of the software, I will show you that how you can able to restore your connectivity and you, you can work on that one when we don't have any class. That, can, uh, that I will show you that how the connectivity and everything. And I, I, and also when when it comes to that, you know how the code and everything, and I will show you that each and every concept, okay, each and every small small part, particularly about the natural rubbers, I can show you that, okay. So you don't worry about that the concepts and you know the practical sessions which are coming, because this is not my first training, okay. I'm I used to train the people uh, within my company. And outside the company, corporate training and everything else, I used to do that one. So when it comes to com training, you don't worry about that. And with, with the training, uh, can we get this? With this training, will be sufficient to get a job. See, the training will be sufficient uh, uh, for your development activity as a developer okay and also uh, maybe i can tell you that uh, whenever the training is happening i will tell you that uh, what are the main uh, interview pattern questions will be there okay suppose if i am explaining you some something about that how the database will be read okay so i will i will mark the topic okay this particular topic is very important when it comes to the interview pa interview panel okay so i will mark each and every question whenever something is i am covering okay so Definitely, it will be helpful to create your interview and your development activity. Okay. Yeah. Fee is a bit uh, higher, and can we uh, negotiate on the fees? Uh, we can take it uh, separately on that one, uh, whoever it may be. We can take it separately. See, uh, when it comes to the natural database uh, training, which is not even uh, available or uh, anything in the market, okay, there, there is no trainer which is available in the market. See, even though our mainframe topics are very old, people will think that, uh, you know, very old, okay, but still in the natural database, you don't have any uh, material or anything which is available in the market. Whatever the PPT is or whatever I am going to show to you, which is prepared by my own actually. All the PPTs which I am going to show to you people, which is prepared by me when I am giving the trainings to the other candidates and everything. Okay. So don't think that it is a very old technology. Actually, it is very new, actually. Natural and Adabas is very new along with the natural one. 
okay if you go and see that on the natural world there won't be any materials also in the uh, in the open system open network So the training starts will be see those PPTs will be available in the drive. Okay, the drive will be shared with you people. As I said that uh, the materials or whatever it is there, everything will be available in the drive. Including the surface, even I, I will place the surface in the drive. Maybe you can do, download from the drive and we can able to do the configuration and installation in our system and we can continue on that. And is there any admin also in this uh, natural Adabas admin code? See, there, there, uh, there is a something that admin called uh, Adabas admin, uh, admin will be there. Just like uh, how we have that uh, Oracle admin, uh, SQL admin, or uh, DB2 admin, like that we have the Adabas admin. But uh, that is a different, entirely different topic. Uh, okay, will that be covered or no? No, admin is entirely different. Oh, okay. So this is for developer yeah this is completed development okay so we should email you like uh, if you are interested uh see how you people contacted the venkat just take that you uh, you contact the venkat for your uh, interest or uh, your confirmation okay it depends upon your interest uh, the candidates okay either we can able to start by tomorrow or day after tomorrow maybe people may take some time to get confirmation also so in that case we will wait for one day to get the confirmation please in touch with the venkat venkat on that part okay show your interest so venkat will create a new meeting invite and he will share it to each and every one okay what is venkat phone number uh, he might have given that uh, demo session and everything right one minute uh, i will i will put up that also so this is the venkat phone number and the mail id has been given here can you see guys on the screen? Uh, no. You can't see it. Okay, fine. I am just put it in the comment chat. Did you got it now? Yeah. Yes. So, which is already there in the, uh, in the, actually in the YouTube video which we shared. And also this is the Venkat number and his mail ID. So as soon as possible, if you can able to give you a confirmation, we, we start to create the new meeting invite. Okay, cool. Yeah, so will you help with the interviews? No, what is the meaning of it? Like uh, proxy? Uh, it's a case to case. We can take it personally that those things. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. See, there are a few personal things will be there. We can take it one to one actually. Uh, apart okay. from that, any generic things you can ask me here. So okay. So so where do you where 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 are you located and where do you work? Uh I located in Chennai. Okay. Uh, actually, I am basically from Andhra, but I settled down in Chennai uh, because I did my PG degree in Chennai and uh, I got my first job in Chennai and I am continuing to work in Chennai. Apart from that, uh, I, I, I worked in uh, Amsterdam, Netherlands location uh, for more than three years and uh, I was there in Sydney for more than three years Okay, with a uh, banking client and manufacturing client. So uh, I have total years of experience for the 15 years. Okay. I worked on the production support, enhancements, projects, 
and uh, latest people will say that agile methodology scrum scrum methodology so i am a certified scrum master i can take the some session on the scrum scrum also if you people are interested okay so how mainframe can be converted as a scrum model previously it was sdlc process software development life cycle process and there is something called uh, kanban method is the scrum method is there when it comes to the mainframe and natural out of us so if you people are interested we maybe we can extend one or two session to cover on the how we can use the scrum or you know kanban when it comes to the mainframe and natural out of us so i worked on the both both the process and everything you said in sydney right how are opportunities in australia what is it sydney means I mean, you said like we have opportunities in Australia also, right? For natural adapters. Right. Yes, yes. So how is it uh, current uh, uh, trending? It's uh, the same or? Uh... Same. Currently, we, you have many openings in Australia. Uh, that is not only in Sydney. Uh, we can we have that of Perth is there, no? Australia, Australia capital, Perth city and Melbourne also. You have the opportunities in Melbourne, Perth and Sydney. I know these three locations. Okay, and if you like know that the Australian okay. Police Department, Australian Police Department using the uh, natural bus. Okay, okay. We, we, can you provide reference after this training? So one of my friend, uh, he also wants to join. He is in Australia. Uh, what is the meaning of reference? Is it training reference or job reference? Oh, no, no. Once he gets trained here, uh, mm. can you just connect it with people here for jobs? See. Uh, what i will do means maybe i will post the post you know wherever the jobs is available okay uh, and also i will post all the information to all the candidates mm -hmm. uh, gopi uh, the timings is nothing but uh, uh, 8 to 10 or 8 30 to 10 30 either two times thing has been provided uh, it all depends upon the how the candidates are showing the interest whether they want to go for one and a half hour or two hours uh, anything okay we can uh, negotiate on the timing spot people who is working in the north america also where you can able to see so many opportunities on the natural bus not only in australia and also if you see that Denmark, Finland and Netherlands also having the opportunities in natural robots. Any other questions guys? If not, can we, can we close the session? Yes. yes okay thank you so uh, the venkat number mobile number and mail id has been provided here okay so how you people shown the interest to, to join the demo just try that to be in touch with venkat okay he will add all the people in the list and he will send the meeting invite to you guys i just ping you his number and mail id again I'm closing the meeting. Thank you very much guys for your time and uh, interest.